everyone, good morning. It is Selena here at Amore Fabrics. I'm here about ready to go into mom and dad's shed. I figured I'd go ahead and take you guys along the way. We got some amazing, beautiful vintage handmade quilts and things, and it's actually literally a surprise. If you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. This is a crafty channel right now. I'm on the road grabbing uh, junk in my trunk for things in the shop. And um, obviously a lot of items for uh, the followers here. A lot of people have items on the list that they're looking for me to search for. And that's what I'm doing. So right now let's, I'm bringing you along. I hair uh, into that shed to see what exactly we have in those bins. So um, if you guys see anything in this video that you like down below, comment. Um, I, I usually pick people in the order that they message below or um, um, in any other social media outlet. Like down below, you can contact me on Etsy. You can contact me on Facebook and obviously here. So I do my best, so be patient. Um, it's a lot of messages and I will just patiently get through them and I hope you just be patient with me as well. I'm gonna put you guys on pause here and we're gonna go ahead and dig in that uh, shed. Hang on one second. All right guys, I'm gonna show you postcards. We got a ton of postcards from Junk in My Trunk. I need to go through. Um, if you see this video, they should be already added to the shop, I'm hoping. If not, just message me if you see something that you are looking for. I'm most likely going to do them in the themes of floral, garden, holiday, and, and so on and so forth. But look at this pack. This pack here is brand new. Um, vintage brand new, that is. Look how gorgeous this is. None of them are used. Let me see if I can do this one-handedly. I know my video skills lately have not been the best, and uh, <laughs> so bear with me. Usually I have my tripod and everything, but I've not been, looks like that's the same. If anyone's doing baby journals, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Looks like two of each so far. Look how cute. <laughs> Just so gorgeous. So if I have two of each, maybe I can get away with two packs. How cute. We've got three of these now. Two of those. Sorry guys. I'm kind of curious on what we have. But I have a lot of vintage garden, floral, um, travel. So you'll see uh, vintage postcard packs, um, used and unused. This pack seems to be unused. Um, but um, in the listing, when you go to it, you'll see Look how cute is that. The color of it is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, so that is the baby pack. It's not exactly all, but anyways. So there's that. I need to put those aside. That's the kind to show you guys. I didn't throw that right in your face. So it looks like vintage garden, uh, floral, holiday. How gorgeous. Just beautiful prints. Just beautiful. Totally gorgeous, guys. Um, comic ones, which I've never done those. Uh, black and white. So there's so many. So guys, take a peek at the shop and see what you can find. Um, like I said, if you're looking for certain themes, just let me know. I can just message me. Um, I tried uh, separating them into different themes and things like that um, the best I can but um, I'm going to do listings that what you see is what you get um, let's see what else we have um, in this haul okay this is what we got ton and ton of vintage hankies I don't know if you can see this bin I need to go through um, this really cool box came um, in with this bunch of stuff as well it's like a satin box um, my mom's told me the name of it I forgot I need to ask her, but isn't that just gorgeous? I'll have that as a listing too, with some hankies hanging out of it kind of thing. But, oh my gosh, this whole bin is just filled, filled with um, hankies. I just need to put them, I'm going to color coat them into packs. If that makes any sense. I will coordinate them into color selections, like a pack. So greens, uh, purples, what have you. But just, guys, it's just so many so so many colorful ones i'm just shocked it's just gorgeous in good great condition oh here we go oh yes i forgot to tell you guys so at the bottom of this as well look at this jewelry box if anyone is interested 
like I said, hanky packs will be in the shop. Um, and look at this beautiful, oh my gosh, heavy vintage jewelry box that is marbled. But look how gorgeous. Look how raised that is. I got this at an auction there in Shipshawana. But look how gorgeous. The tag is missing, so I don't know what brand, but totally gorgeous gorgeous long box I could totally see brushes what have you heavy marbled uh, which is gorgeous but look at these Shakespeare books I got the entire set um, of Shakespeare they're gorgeous I haven't looked them up yet but look at the bound leather and uh, the print it's just gold paged just gorgeous there this was an order my dad had put it in order for me oh I forgot this whole bottom of this box is vintage shoes guys oh my gosh you know I did I'm a fabric shop so I am thinking these totally beautiful old shoes I have like I said I have probably have a good 20 or more of these shoes different kinds I think I'm gonna fill them up with vintage buttons and sell them in the shop what do you guys think Aren't they just darling? Let's see what else I have here. Look at this one. Look at, oh my gosh. Oh, look at a wishing bone. Someone put a wishing bone in there. Look how gorgeous is that. Very old shoes for the shoe collectors. I think vintage buttons in there and sell it. Look at the tips of the rose is not even hurt. Awesome. Just gorgeous. So there's a whole bunch down below here. I'm, I'm just going to surprise you guys. There's a whole bunch. What else do I got in there? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's another shoe. Look at that baby one. There we go. Let me get him out of there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have to say that is Darlin. Here's the name. Anyway, it's just, oh my gosh. Fill them up with the buttons, right, Selena? So I have a ton of buttons for you guys as well. Oh my gosh, so we got a ton of books in there, miniatures. For those who know, like miniatures, a beautiful pot. So I need to dig in there safely and see what we got for you guys. All right, guys, here we are. We're digging through. We got, looks like a wedding ring uh, quilt with different hand stitch uh, pieces, vintage pieces. The basket is mine, so that is so not up for grabs, <laughs> but hey, we're digging through some bins here. You, you know mom doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> some different linens, as you guys know, we'll definitely do the linen packs and um, doily packs as well. Uh, mom has, uh, oh gosh, there's so many things, it's crazy. We got different, um, I'm definitely for sure, guys, we got the um, embroidery packs. I will do is I have a bunch of different vintage embroidery. I'll go through them. We'll make them into embroidery packs for you guys like we've done before. Looks like I have vintage linen I need to go through. And see. Woo! And there goes something. You okay, Dad? Okay. So we have um, different linens that I will put into piles. I don't think I'll cut the linens. I might sell them whole depending on the conditions. Because look at this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at this cute elephant. I see him here. I see him here, Mom. I won't get you in the picture, Mom. <laughs> Mom's all worried. It's morning time, and we haven't done really much with ourselves. Okay, look at this guy, guys. It's whoop, He's on the... Looks like he's right here, Ma. All right, I'll press pause, guys. Hang on one second. Okay, we are back. Look at... For my elephant lovers, look how cute. Looks like he's got a four-leaf clover. And look how cute is that. It is darling. Play again. All right, so again, like I said, we got the vintage doily packs and stuff that we will have. Mom, is there something I need to know about something? Um, she's quiet, you guys. So definitely linen packs. We will definitely put those together. We have so many doily packs and stuff. I know a lot of followers have this on their list. Welma, hey, Welma, if you're there watching this video, I know you asked. This is one of your requests, and I will make sure you are top of the line for the... Uh, 
doily packs and stuff. For those who are already on a list, you guys are also in line for the doily packs. And those who are on a list for the embroidery packs, the same as well. Now, if you want to be on a list, just go ahead and message below or contact me um, through Etsy or down below. If you're wanting on a list for like the embroidery packs or the doily packs, just message me. I, I'll put you on the list, guys. And how many packs I have, you, I'll go down the line as well. As you can see here, before we start filling this bin back, we got another vintage quilt down here. This one looks a little more newer, but um, I'll go over those um, vintage ones later. I know I got three or four. Mom's going to start piling this stuff back, and you guys can see it as I'm doing that. We have, I think, what we got, Mom? We got like four, four vintage quilts right now. We're still piling up more vintage quilts that we can. Um, what I figured I was going to do with the vintage quilts is that I'm gonna they're gonna be cutters there's some that are cutters some that are not and I'm gonna make um, the vintage quilted packs too so if you want to be on the vintage quilted packs where they're gonna be cut up into junk journal cover sizes typically that is like 10 and a half by 14 and a half inch cuts I noticed that most of my embroidery I'm um, sorry my uh, vintage quilts are all hand stitched so it's got a lot of tiny stitches on the top definitely very scrappy very scrappy um shabby scrappy i should say as well look at those cool vintage umbrellas guys i have umbrellas oh this here mom dad told me the story about this they had a friend who travels around the world in a boat and this is one of the tapestry type of rugs very thin um excellent condition just i'll open that up later guys but right now i'm just giving you a little peek we have a bunch of the vintage umbrellas look at these handles the lawnmower is not included but hey it's it's in the picture sorry guys look at those beautiful I think some of them i think some of them are bake light that is dad dad i'm going to show you for a second mm -hmm. bake light yeah. We'll open those up later in another video, but you at least have a peek for those who are vintage um, umbrella lovers. Um, looks like a lot of beautiful satin and silk. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. A little faded in some, but hey, it gives it character as well. My mom used to have these in an umbrella stand for years. Um, of course, the mower is not involved. Look at that. Was, gorgeous. How does that handle? Mom, you sure you want to get rid of them? I don't need them. They're wooden, wooden handle. <laughs> this one's a bamboo, like a yeah, bamboo, bamboo wooden. With, with the original beaded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's that similar. is gorgeous. Let's see that one. Same, got a wooden handle. <laughs> it's so different seeing a guy open an umbrella. <laughs> Thank you, umbrella. <laughs> uh, look at that one, guys. That's got to be That's like, like a, a big old bake light. Yeah, it's not glass. Look at the tassel. Yeah. Yeah, this one's got the round handle. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what the, what the little tassels were for. Oh, uh, maybe it was the to hold handle. To help hold on to it? Yeah, like maybe it clipped around show, on something. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. My Fair Lady. Look at the finials on them. Yeah. Good weapon. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't think any of them you have any guns or knives in them. No. <laughs> yeah. Now Look at that. Good. Look That's how elegant. Well, it they needs to wiped make, up. It needs this wiped is, up. This is needs, some of the what they used in. to make. It's been sitting. They used to make lampshades out of this material. Isn't that cool? It looks like a satin. Yeah. And plastic. again, plastic. Yeah, like big light. Cool? Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. All right, Mom, I'm going to press pause and we'll add more stuff. Hang on. Okay, of course, you guys know I love bringing embroidery trims in the shop. Those who don't know exactly what this is, I'll give you a little heads up. And you're wondering why is there, when you get this in estate sales and stuff, say if you get this for yourself, you're like, what do I do with this? Actually, um, they put this in the bolt and they stitch down the ends. This is a fringe. As soon as you cut a little bit of that thread, and you peel it away, this will be a beautiful fringe. Um, and this is the border top where you can stitch it down. Or those who do junk journaling, you can glue it down to your journal. But once that thread is out, it is a beautiful fringe. Hope that was helpful yeah, for that you guys. Bolt, that bolt has, tells you how so that'll be in the shop, guys, by the yard or by the bolts. Same thing here. Look at this beautiful, like, Victorian-ish trims. Look at that. That's a twisted but look at how easy it is to apply that to whatever your project is. 
And look at this thick stuff. I don't think you guys are going to get this on your journals, but look at this. I don't know if you can see. Look at the beautiful little... But look at that. Oh, that, that would this just be so feature. ornate, isn't it? Just elegant. I think elegant and ornate are two different things. But to me, I could think both. Jeez. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. For yeah, sure. Hope I'm not making this. you guys too dizzy. I'll press pause for the next thing. All right. For my Raggedy Ann lover, I know who you are out there. Look at She's calling your name. <laughs> She's in this uh, bedding um, for you as well. Um, if go ahead, message me if you're a Raggedy Ann lover. Um, it's she's I know one person, but if she passes, it's another. It is a newer one, um, as you can see. I mean, she's new, new condition. She got her heart. Her bloopers are looking good. Um, she's there, but I know I have those who love Raggedy Ann. So message me below. We have Christmas no, linens no as well. Hang on one second. Dad's gonna open a. For those who are part of the. Um, the Goodwill Outlet Haul that I did just recently. I have one more, possibly on the way home. This is that quilt that you guys were ooh and out over. It had Made in the Smoky Mountains Tennessee, and, of Tennessee, Tennessee 1981. 19, okay, yeah. Um, our love, Grandma, Grandpa and Grandma Foster. But this quilt is immaculate. It smells beautiful. It came from a beautiful, good home. It has the bonnet girl with the umbrella. Go figure, more umbrellas. Ooh, ooh. But um, here it is. I'm going to make sure to hit the ground. But look, I know. You have good helpers here. All right, here you go. I'm going to go hopefully sideways for you guys. But look at how beautiful the fabrics are. It is hand stitched here. I can show you. And sew machine stitched. It looks like sew machine stitched border, but it is in beautiful condition. I haven't seen no stains. Lady with an umbrella. Lady with an umbrella. Isn't that gorgeous? And the yellow print is this. Beautiful. She used, whoever did this used beautiful vintage fabrics. Um, and it is sew machine done and appliqued. Like so it is a lot of work and love. All right. So we got some Christmas linens here. I know we packed this the other day. I'm trying to work on Christmas uh, linen packs for you guys and Christmas retro packs. I know a lot of people love the retro fabric packs. I have different prints here and kits that I need to go through and organize Christmas and all. Oh my gosh, wait you see this. This is like a farmhouse panel. It's got chickens and pigs. Um, I know someone already, but um, look at kitty cats. It's just beautiful. But a lot of doodads. I kind of threw some stuff in here. We got different fabrics, beautiful quality Hoffman fabrics uh, and stuff like that. Got a wedding dress, a lot of appliques going on here as well. Oh, man. We're definitely going to have the vintage lace packs. The doily packs are coming back. So I know, like I said, Wilma. Hey, Wilma, I know. And I know a handful of other ladies. Look at We got so much vintage uh, linens. It's going to be um, doilies. It's going to be crazy Woo! as we're dropping. <laughs> hey, it's what it takes. It's all good, guys. That's a navy. Definitely, that is a navy yes. overcoat. Yeah, that's one I didn't show either. So I got some vintage uh, navy, uh, different navy uh, wool type of uh, that's, stuff. A that's, that's a navy uniform. Yeah, so I got the pants to match. Those who, if anyone's interested, I was going to look it up first, um, but it has the, there's a whole set in here at the bottom. I know, that's one of the earrings that I had. So I have a ton of fabrics, and then, of course, embroidery packs are coming up, guys. Here's the navy. Pants that's the pants me. right there. Um, and then I have another shirt in there somewhere, but either way, I'll just kind of, there we go get it later but anyways lace packs are definitely going to make their way guys okay here we go we got mom's coat as well beautiful vintage coat it's just gorgeous if you guys can see that it's just absolutely gorgeous the button. the buttons yeah i'll have to display it i got the model lady at the house we'll display her but look at that inside liner absolutely gorgeous guys isn't that beautiful? It's not real for right, Ma? No, not Yeah, real. so for those who are wanting to know, leopard. it's it not like real for Fake leopard. Fake, Fake leopard. leopard. Fuck. But it has the vintage buttons on yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely wear. gorgeous. Look at guys, we have crates upon crates. <laughs> Look at her going through crates here. Um, little by little. Definitely glass. For those who... Um, 
also like to make um, books are crazy. We got books and books and books of books. I had a request for cookbooks. We have requests for, um, I know, art books. I know I got Norman Rockwell guys, my Norman Rockwell lovers. I even have a Norman Rockwell uh, Christmas as well. I Oh, that's right. I meant to tell you guys, I found a bunch of the baby and children books that I was going to make children vintage, 100% vintage children book paper packs. Um, and I will, you guys get to choose which cover you want. So all the books that I do rip from, each kit that you purchase, you can choose which book cover. Like here's this one is the baby bumper book. Wait till you guys see inside this. This is amazing. I know for those who are like, how can you cut that up? We will. I want to make sure I give you guys a variety of items. You know, I'll make sure none are ripped. In the ripped pages, I guess I can cut them and make you guys different little pieces to put in the pack as well. But unbelievable. So just gorgeous. And then we found the vintage art books. I found a bunch of vintage art magazines as well for the art packs. Woo! So we got a ton of books here. What you got, Dad? Oh, this is really cool what he got. He's got the Better Crocker uh, library cards that are for the cooking. Look at here. These are the, 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 the separate them. But um, he got like the different cooking cards, the recipe cards. I had a big request for um, vintage recipe books and cards. These here are great for your pockets and displays as well. I'll be selling those, I think, in 25 packs um, as well. So there's that as well coming up. Uh, books, books, books. Christmas. We're going through Christmas as well. I'm coming your way, Dad. Um, vintage Christmas porcelain. Those who don't know, up down below, I'll put the link. But I have a separate vintage shop on Etsy that is nothing but vintage stuff, like Christmas, uh, glass, and things like that, that will have, so I hope I don't make you guys dizzy, have the different vintage ornaments and things like that. Um, and um, so just to show you the different kinds of ornaments that will be in there, the boxes will be included. They're lightweight and all. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so beautiful Christmas. We got boxes of Christmas going on. Uh, oh, this is cool. This here, this will come with a box. It's a vintage Richmond um, box. Here you go. See there? It's a really beautiful box. Could has the vintage tape on it. I know you guys love the boxes with the vintage tape. But it looks like someone was doing um, a cruel wool kit. Everything's in there. It is completed. This piece here, this rose piece, if you want to open up, Dad, please, um, is complete. Look at, look at the floss. You guys are going to love the wool. Look at the wool in there. The little wool floss. But look at, they finished it. It's upside down, but you guys kind of get the drift. Even if you want to keep it as a whole or for your journal, or you can cut it up. Look how beautiful. But let me know if anyone's interested. Look how beautiful these roses are. Could you imagine if you cut those out and put them and make them into your covers? And it came with the instructions as well. If yeah. you say you wanted it's to make it kit. again. And that beautiful. But look at those roses. Well, I think there's another one here. Isn't there? No. no. Oh. That's just the back. Still, that it can you can use it and create. Look at all this stuff is there. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know if anyone wants that. I just kept the original. It's not the original box. It's actually a clothing box, but they use it to store it. I wonder, no, imagine that they did that. Maybe they're making a gift for somebody. Um, and this for those who, um, my, okay. For those who like to do the Japan, uh, type of themed, um, I was going to say, um, yes, I was going to say Oriental, but I don't want offense, but this here is beautiful silk fabrics, Japan or, um, mom, what were you think? I was going to say, oriental. here we go. Oriental. I'm not sure, um, if it's Japanese. Japan or uh, Chinese, or Chinese, yeah. but came with this beautiful box. Look at this album. It's not been used. It's an it's an amazing condition. It's got all the scrapbook pages in it, and it's got wax in between. You guys know you love that vellum. I'm I hope I'm saying that right. Vellum um, in between each, which you can use as well in between your scrapbook pages. It is beautiful. It's just amazing. If those who want size of measurements, just message me. It comes in this beautiful box. Original box. Yeah, original box. Amazing gift. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this is different. I've not done this before, but we can see.
For those who like to do porcelain or ceramic and make your own china making stuff, I got decal books as well. Um, that's going to be a whole different video. And if anyone's interested, I will spend the time with you to go through that. It has all kinds of things between right. um, like teacup sets, like a teapot. This is a it's, whole it's set. Like a, it's like a doll set. Mm -hmm. What they use for, tea, you know, having tea for your yeah. doll to your tea parties for yep. your kids. And we have the decals and stuff so that you can create. This, this one is, here is the... 12 small teapots. 12 small dainty teapots. And I think over here you had Christmas. Here we go, guys. I'm going to make a, my way. This is another one. This one here is like all Christmas for those who like to make um, different like Christmas china ornaments, for china, china for china painters. Yeah. But um, I have a ton of that as well. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. He's digging through some more of those. Oh, look at no, no. Look at the teacups. Chocolate mm. cups, right, Ma? Mm -hmm. um, but wall pockets and different books and... Oh, look at here. How cool is this? So this here is like the different glass. My parents are antique collectors and dealers. And they've given me all these books. And they said, do what you want with them. They had the most amazing pages. I thought I would make a junk journal kit of nothing but vintage glass and stuff. And then look at here. Like the different kinds of vintage kitchen collectibles. Different book pages, packs I'm going to try to work on. Look at here. The different collectible items through time look at them look at that guys so i'll make some packs of just that as well like the vintage collectible books so i'm thinking maybe that's what i should do you guys comment below what you think mm -hmm. if you think you guys would like vintage collectible pages packs i have tons of books and some are colorful like this oh my gosh look at that fenton and uh different pieces diamond. yeah, yeah. Westmoreland. Okay, we got Vaseline glass. We have all kinds. You can hear my dad in the background naming off all the different kinds. But I think that would be really cool in some of your guys' kits kind of thing. I think I'm going to be keeping one of those. But hey, there might be one up for grabs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's is, uh, digging through these barrels here. Oh, these are patterns, I think. No, no, this is all of the vintage um, stuff that you make for your journals. Journal. Oh, look at here, guys. This is all turn this of the century, be... old Illinois stuff, uh, things from Kendallville. Look at memorial. Look at war memorials. Oh, and, how cool! Um, We're definitely, you know, have to do a video just going a, through this these. This is a railroad United States visitors pass for the United States lines. Oh, we have to go through these and mm -hmm. see. Oh, we got different um, the chipboard type of black and white photos. How about vintage maps? Maps. So we'll see we got a bunch of stuff here, guys. And that we just opened this container. So we have totally junk in my trunk that's gonna last for days, guys. You got a sneak peek of Rare some lines. items. These I'm gonna be busy for like a long time. Maybe I should These do a live sale. Catalogs and brochures from different things from Oh, what was that last one? This one? Yeah, this I know is, they're gonna uh, love that one. That looks like personal stuff from like a class reunion. It says oh, here, yeah. school package years from 1913 all the way to 1937. Well, that would be a cool lot, guys. Yeah, for like class reunions. Oh, was... how cool. How cool is that? Here, we were supposed to be in the garage organizing and packing, and here we are doing a video for you guys. Yeah, we're because, so messing it up. Because we're having fun, too. Um, also, I'm going to press pause and show you something, guys, right over here really quick. All right, for those who have those vintage ceramic Christmas trees, I have, look at here, replacement parts. Yeah, we're making our way to it. See this container here, guys, and this huge container here. Um, we have different, we have all, all kinds of different. I'm going to be putting lots of these. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of 100 or a lot of 25. We have the different sizes. I know that, Ben, over there, we have, like, the, the typical ones you see as well. But if you have one of those ceramic, look at the topper, guys. Like the top of the Christmas tree toppers. or um, like I'm going to be having those in the shop. There you go. See, these are like the typical ones I normally see. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that container. And look at this. Down below. Oh, don't have to lift it, Dad. I just opened a drawer. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like my mom labeled them already. These are birds. Oh, my gosh, Mom. My mom is so organized. Um, 
it looks like we have um uh we have they're all uh, color coded yeah the greens and reds it looks like she has them in dark all the different colors so if you have something you need replaced oh just message there's me the, there's here's the flowers and the butterflies oh how cool that's just more color my mom had all the stuff to make ceramic christmas trees and i told her i just want the parts this I don't... Here. there's the little birds see the birds uh, how cute the little doves Are the li they... and then there's the little ones oh how cute it looks like she labeled them so we'll go through those and have those in a shop as well for those who are trying to complete a christmas project but look at this cool barrel too bad you can't put that in a journal Oh my, so we have a ton of these vintage yeah, mirrors, dresser three, mirrors. I think, I think I said there was three of them. Yeah, there's one in the other They're one actually too. called mirrored pedestal Hi. mirrors. Yeah. And then looks like, oh, mom's pillows. These are for me. I'm thinking the Lanaima. I'm not sure mom's got here. Mom's That's being quiet. <laughs> See, uh, uh, mom's quiet. Oh, that is so pretty. Mom made it? Mm -mm. Something I picked up. It's pretty. Pillows. So pillows, then yeah, put them pillows at the bottom there. But I know I got a lot of wall pockets. I'm going through the wall pockets first because I love wall pockets, and then I'll show you guys which ones I have up for grabs. Um, let me turn around here, guys. Okay, by now I wonder if I made you guys officially dizzy, but we have two huge tins here. Mom's such gonna grab the other one or hold one or um, that I need to go through. Oh, we don't want to. Oh, so this is a sewing one. Look at Lady Washington. I see her right on top already. Um, so we got all kinds. Look at there, guys. Is even Hello, some Lady military Washington. military buttons in here. Uh-huh. So we got a lot to go through on those as well. Dad's trying to get us to the light here. And then, Mom, we've been going through and separating. Look at these guys. Yeah, military buttons. There's even some lead buttons, what they yeah. used in the Civil War. How in cool. there. Those bake light ones in here, Mom, aren't they? Bake lights, yeah. That big. Look at the beautiful yeah. shelves. Oh, we put them in a bag. I Mother think. of Pearl. Another bag. I think we put them in another bag. Just wait, guys. I haven't, oh, even, they are. I haven't even touched the look paper. At, look at <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. The vintage bake light. Now, I see that these buttons here are here, but I, look at this. I think we're, these were maybe like wrap buttons. Or scarf something buttons, that, right. tie buttons maybe? I, I'm not quite sure. It There's almost a looks like a them. tie can get through there. But, but we have these, guys. Does anyone know what that clip does? A lot of you guys are you said it was collectors. Bake light. Might be bake light. I know bake light, but like what kind of purpose, clip? The purpose of this clip. Yeah, I know this is a button, but what is this? And it's I'm set. thinking it had to be some kind of belt. I think Uncle Buck is here. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. Hang on. All right, guys, I'm going to come right back to you guys with more stuff. Hey, everyone. I am in the laundry room right now, so it might be kind of dim. I am working on these vintage quilts. I have the vintage wedding ring quilts. Um, I think this is the one, two, three, four, eight-pointed star quilts. Um, and there's a couple other ones I'll show you here in a minute, but what I'm going to do guys, I'm making, I'm going to cut these up. You're going to be like, what? Cutting up quilts. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys and the sake of you guys. If you hear that noise in the background, we have a lanai being put up on our house. Um, but these are all vintage hand stitched. I'm going to show you a little close up. And what I was going to do is a pack. I got to count the quilts. But you're going to have large cuts. I want them to be big enough for you guys to journal with. Um, and then you also have like um, a scrap packs as well uh, with the remnants I do have. So we have that quilt here I'll be cutting up so you guys can see that. And then like I said, the vintage wedding quilt. Sorry, I'm one handily doing this. Absolutely gorgeous. Some staining, so that's one reason why I'm cutting it up. And that's another reason why I'll have a lot of scraps to put into your packs. But my goal is to make sure I have, let's count how many, how many quilts we have. One, two, three, four, five quilts. So it'll be five large cuts that are usually gonna be junk journal cover size, probably like um, 10 and a half by 14 and a half. Big enough for you guys to journal with, with beautiful color pieces, again, this one here is, um, looks like I see machine. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting close. But what really made me love this was the vintage retro pieces that are in here. Um, we got, look at here. See the beautiful, colorful prints. Sorry, you guys, the dim lighting. I'm in my laundry room. I need a light above this folding table. 
one day. But I fell in love with these fabrics. Um, so that is the second quilt. Again, like I said, I'm going to have scrap packs. So this kit here is going to be uh, junk in my trunk quilted fabric packs that will be in the shop. Um, I don't know if they're listed now, but go ahead and check. Down below is the direct link. My goal is if these videos are up, usually the packs are up as well. But look at this. These beautiful vintage applique quilts. But it is 100% hand stitched. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry, husband just got home. Um, so it has a lot of beautiful pieces in it. And again, it's going to be large cut pieces. Um, I do have white in this as well. So I might just do a large piece of this and this just one length for you guys. So if you fold it over, it could be like a journal front and back kind of thing. I'm thinking of you guys' projects and I will have plenty of scraps on this, but just beautiful. Here's another one. This one here is, um, embroidered. Like they did all this. Ooh, sorry about that guys. Embroidered work. Can you see that? All these different kinds of flowers, buttercups and things like that. Again, this one here is like a pale yellow, hang on, <laughs> um, a pale yellow and a cream. But look at all this beautiful hand stitch work this person did and these designs on um, like here, all the little bitty squares hand stitched. A lot of work in this beautiful, lovely quilt. And I'm gonna cut her out because she needs uh, to be put into your guys' packs and she does have some wear and stuff. So I don't feel as guilty as cutting up, but there'll be a lot of beautiful pieces that you can cut out and use for your projects. This one here is a pretty worn one, but gorgeous. If you're looking for that scrappy look, it is it. If I can capture this. Beautiful, just beautiful, scrappy. I'm in love with it. So I'm giving you guys a great variety of not only bright and bold, but I'm also giving you um, a, a scrappy looks as well. Um, I imagine when I do the listing in the shop, I will have like the perfect pieces like this kit, and then there will be a scrappy, scrappy quilt kit that will have the rugged look. Because some people want that rugged look pack and not the perfect, perfect quilted pack. So I'll give you guys two different selections to choose from um, as well. But again, all that beautiful hand stitch work, it won't go to any loss. It'd be in a bunch of you guys' packs and be remade into some beautiful projects instead of a quilt that has been really, really worn. So, all right guys, I hope you absolutely love this idea. Run over to the, the, the uh, shop, I was gonna say quilt. <laughs> It tells you I have a lot of work to do um, and see if these packs are up. If they are not up, don't fret. Message me. I'll make sure I'll hold a pack for you for when um, they are up and ready so you don't miss out. Um, I, I need a count. I think I can make up to 30 packs, maybe more. Um, again, absolutely gorgeous, guys. Check them out. All right, guys, here I'm going to go through some of these QuickBooks um, to show you guys. Oh, look at this. The Tales of Peter Rabbit for my Peter Rabbit lovers. It is awesome. I'll go through it another day. Just want to give you a sneak peek for those who want to know that is up for grabs. Junior Hems. Oh, we got Rand McNally books that are the children's books. They're little tiny guys. Um, as you can see, this is my hand. You can see the size of what they are. Very colorful. Those who know are Rand McNally lovers. They're mom's coming book. I kind of hear. Um, all right, so Junior Hems, which amazing Rosie. pages on the inside you here. You. We got the family over today, guys. You can hear in the background. Um, trying to quickly go through here um, some of the cookbooks and stuff like that. Hang on a second, guys. All right, guys. So then we got the vintage cookbooks for the cookbook people who are on the list. Um, I'm, as you guys can kind of see, I'm doing a video that is on three or four different segments. So be patient. I'm just trying to get this all in on for you guys. I got the vintage uh, golden books that are not only the prayers for children, but I'm, I'm working on the Christmas theme for the Christmas kits this year. Um, as you can see here, there's more stuff here. I'm just kind of giving you guys a sneak peek. I know I got a nice bin of transistor radios for you guys to take a peek at later. I'll go through them one by one. I can't wait to show you guys those as well. Okay guys, I hope I didn't make you crazy dizzy. So those who are looking for Lana Burger baskets, um, I know two people already are on the list, but, um, if you are interested and you see something, who knows, maybe the people on the list want to pass to something else. But I wanted to show you really quick some of the cute little baskets that we do have. This is this one here, the American Cancer Society one. It's like it's stamped and numbered and signed. Um, and it has the booklet that goes with it. And then here's this one here. 
Same thing, booklet. This is like the one that hangs on the wall. And I'm gonna turn it over for those who are collectors, wanna know. It's a 1994, look at the stamp of the barn, that's so cool. And then we have this one here, look at the cute little inserts and it's got the, um, the fabric and the inside liner as well. And it's got the two little plastic baskets and the booklet. And I'm gonna turn this without turning out the baskets. See here if I could do it upside down. If you guys need information, just ask. And then we got the much larger one right here um, for those who are interested. And I don't think this is a Londenberger one, mom, is it? It's just a beautiful basket, right? I'll tell you. All right, let's go ahead and- No, it's just the pretty basket. Yeah, again, that one's mine. It's well made. <laughs> um, so it's gorgeous though. It's just absolutely beautiful, so.